and Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the mid-afternoon update for TFNN with my friend Kermit the Haw Frog, who's with me today. I uh, would like to mention, folks, that our guest today will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and he always has some great stuff. And next Monday, we're going to have Norm Winsky. And on Wednesday, we're going to have Jim Bartoleone. And I believe on Thursday, we're going to have Joe DiNapoli, the non-political version of him, just talking about the markets. The markets today are bifurcated, as Basil would always say. We got the Dow Jones and the, excuse me, the Dow Jones and Russell are up. The NASDAQ and the S&P are down. Not a lot, but well, the s and down a little bit more. The NASDAQ's down quite a bit. But it's, if you'll take a look at the chart that I posted here in the den today, we were looking for the market to come down into this level here. If you notice, the low today was at that 44.61 level, which was the 78% level. It looks like we're going to test it again. And then Monday, we should have completed some really major ABCs. Monday or Tuesday, we should be completing some of those here in the market as we're watching them here unfold today. Uh, the gold market has continued to weaken as much as we expected. I think we're going to see gold somewhere below 1900 very shortly. I mean, it's only trading in 1946 right now, so that's no, that's two trades. <laughs> so we'll see if that's going to be uh, the case here. But uh, the main thing that you focus on, folks, is the Treasury bond market, Treasury note market. They've given up the ghost, folks. This market, these markets are going to go a lot, lot lower. Interest rates are going to be going higher. And I uh, don't know how much higher, but uh, they will be going higher. They're breaking down some major, major support in here. And uh, even with the news that was supposed to be good, it didn't turn out quite as well as you'd like to have thought. So that's what we're paying attention to here this morning at the offices of Duke & Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where little Mitchell Luck is having his 10th birthday. And he told me, he said he was really sad that he wasn't going to be nine anymore. And how many times you ever heard a kid say that? <laughs> they always want to be older. That's uh, absolutely for sure. Well, we're going to pay a few bills here. And when we get back, we're going to talk about the S&P. 